Just making a small video with a Sky RC engine heater. One just tested here. We placed it on the cooler, connected it to the battery. I changed the battery plug to EC5. And I got this uh, heat measure. And we can measure the heat in the engine now. 23 degrees. And we just turn it on. And in the user manual it says uh, it should heat up the engine to about uh, 60 to 70 degrees in 10 minutes. It takes uh, 12 volts, so I have a 3S battery here. You see an input voltage, 12 volts, heating power. 10 watts. Heating time around 10 minutes. So let's measure again now. 26 degrees. Yes, I feel heat. I feel heat there. Sorry, Arfa. I'm just recording a video. I was at Heat Atlant, Heat Engine. Det är bara läckert. Push, push white button on opposite to start. It's just one button there. You push it to start. And if you push and hold for, oi. And if you push and hold for three seconds, it should stop. I stopped it now because I see there's coming a bit smoke here. 26 degrees. Thirty-nine degrees. Thirty-nine. Well, I just uh, got out in my hobby room because <laughs> I was in my living room, but uh, there was some smoke coming from this engine heater. So we restarted here and uh, test again. It say that it should run for ten minutes. So you just have, it's connected to the EC5 battery, 12 volts, and you just push this start button here. So now it's running, and I got the clock here, it's about uh, 1 o'clock. You can also just feel that it start to heat up. So, yes, now I'm start to feeling the heat. We can measure the temperature on now. It says 24 degrees. So we should uh, reach uh, 60 degrees, maybe. 10 minutes. It's a temperature probe inside here. So it says it's important that the that lies inside so it's get the temperature right I don't believe that was the problem uh, before now we're gonna keep it running even if it's coming some smoke just to see what's happening here. Uh, maybe the smoke is just because it's the first time running this Yeah, it's heating up what we got now. Thirty-five degrees. Now we see the it 
there's a bit of smoke coming here. The lipper battery is uh, okay. And this power motor there. It's okay, not warm. Could also just be some oil or something on the on the cool tower tower maybe that just burned up. Let's try it again. Forty two. Forty two. And on the clock we have run for uh, maybe four minutes. The smoke looks to have disappeared now, so uh, I believe it could just be some oil or something in the either in the engine heater itself or uh, on the cooling tower. I can't see any smoke now. I'm using a flashlight to. Yeah, it's a bit of smoke here. I'm using a flashlight just to look for smoke. We are checking temperature also on this uh, electric uh, module. If you want to stop it, you just uh, hard press it there for uh, three seconds. But I believe it got the timer, so it should stop itself after 10 minutes. Yeah. Push power button, the LED turn red, and the engine heater will start to heat the engine up to 10 minutes. And the engine is preheated. If the temperature is not reached the optimal temperature range, push the power button for another 10 minute heating. Yep. I can measure the temperature again here. Huh? 48.9. So it's not that burning hot, but if I keep my hand on here, especially around here, because uh, the, what it's called, they call it uh, heating silicon, they call it it's some part in here. And uh, so it's hottest around this area. Not so hot on the back here, because the heating silicon is not here in this location uh, but anyway it's uh, getting the engine up to some heat I believe it's better to start the engine at uh, 50 degrees or at uh, 10 or 20 degrees Just try to turn the flywheel to check if it's still, uh, you can feel the compression uh, resistance. Right. Oh no, it's been on for about uh, yes, seven minutes. Check again. Fifty four point nine, so almost fifty five degrees. So 
So we have to take with you a 3S battery because it says it takes 12 volt DC. Can be operated from any 12 volt DC power source, including 3S LiPo battery or 12 volt lead AC battery. Could also maybe power it from your car if you have a 12 volt connection in your car. You just have to make a plug so you can connect it. Okay, it's not uh, feeling a lot uh, hotter on the outside now. It's uh, it's like it uh, stays on this uh, power and heat. So let's see if it's reach a bit higher in inside. Fifty-eight point one. Yes. So uh, of course it's going slower now up. Because I don't believe the heater is going any higher in temperature. Uh, so it takes some time to transfer the heat to the engine block. It's a lot of metal there. And get down into the engine. Uh, also you could, if you have an electric power bag or you could take with you a heat gun, heat blower and blow around the engine too. Uh, it says you should not start the engine with uh, the heater on, so you at least have to uh, stop it and maybe I believe also you should disconnect the uh, battery plug here. Then you could uh, try to start it. You could have the heat heater on the cooling block I believe, just to let it uh, yeah, don't get too cool too fast. Or you could take it off or wrap something other on the cooler block. Uh, this is not a big problem if you're driving in summertime and it's very hot. But there in Norway now it's uh, cold. It's about zero degrees Celsius outside. Well now it's been on for almost 10 minutes. Is it still running? No, no, it's uh, stopped. So let's uh, check the temperature now. Sixty degrees Celsius. So that uh, is what I promise also, or say here, it should reach about sixty to seventy degrees Celsius in ten minutes. Now, if I wanted to heat it a bit more, you just press the button again and you'll get 10 more minutes. So let us just uh, run it for 2-3 uh, minutes more to see if it uh, can reach above 60 degrees. Uh, I have no experience with nitro cost, but they say uh, you should preheat and that will not... Uh, I make the engine uh, more ready to start up because the piston is moving in the cylinder. On. It's a very tight fit, high compression, and you heat up it, it'll go a bit easier. So it will not be that hard uh, wear on the engine if you preheat it. Also, some people talk about uh, uh, glow plug, also, that it's good uh, to preheat that then. The complete engine. I don't know. If you have any experience with this, just uh, leave a comment. So, is it going a bit further up, or is is this the maximum we get? Fifty nine. It's dropped a bit now. I believe that's because it stopped. I don't feel the heat in the. In the heater and all, it's it's warm, but it's not that warm that it was before. Now it's getting maybe a bit warmer again. But 60 degrees Celsius, I think that is all right. Some people say you should uh, get the engine up to about 80 degrees Celsius. 
but then you have to use a heat gun or something. I think this is a okay solution if you are just uh, want to take with you something out in the field and you don't have uh, electric uh, power there. <laughs> so you can plug in the heat gun. So you just have to take with you uh, a 3S LiPo battery and preheat the engine for about 10 minutes before you start running. You can maybe also connect it to, to the car if you have 12 volts. No smoking. No, so that's good. It was just the first time startup that uh, we had some smoke. Let's see. It don't it don't feels uh, any hotter now. Yeah, 59. It's getting up again. So let's just wait a minute or two more to see if we can reach. 61, 62 or something, a bit over 60. Uh, it's cold weather now in oven, also raining. It was a bit snow also. So I would like to uh, wait a few days to see if the temperature could get a bit higher before I break in this engine. Uh, also, it's not very fun to drive outside if it's raining. I don't have a big location. Uh, under a, a roof or something, but uh, I will use the garage to my father when I break in the engine. But it would nice it was a day with uh, no rain and uh, temperature uh, near 10 degrees Celsius, but um, it's winter as I said here no one and usually the temperature is lying around uh, 0 to 10 degrees. And if it's 10 degrees, it's usually raining. Uh, fine weather than we usually have cold and snow or ice so it's not the best time of the year not the easiest time of the year to break in and uh, run uh, nitro gas but uh, people say you can uh, run nitro gas uh, in the cold also just uh, take care preheat it and uh, you could drop a few drops of uh, after run oil into it so it's uh, well well oiled also could uh, make it more easy for the engine yeah 61.6 so it's going a bit up further it's not it's it's not crazy hot on the, on the back you can touch it and hold it no problem at all on the front have the logo, it's hotter, so I would not keep my hand here for, oh, there it was very hot, so I would not keep my hand here for more than a second. On the top, it's okay. So the heater silicone, what they call it, is in this part of the heater. But now... Yes, I think we're gonna stop it now. I'm just gonna take a last measure. Sixty-three point eight. That's all right. So it's uh, going a bit over sixty. So that's all for the Sky RC engine heater. It does what is promised, it heating the engine up to about 60 degrees in 10 minutes using a 3S lipo battery. Uh, and in this room where I am now, the temperature is about 14 degrees or maybe even 12 degrees. I could, yeah, I could take a measure here. It's 11.6 degrees Celsius in this room. So the engine uh, make it, makes it up to 60 degrees in these conditions in about 10 minutes. And if you keep it for a bit uh, longer, you will get a bit about 60 degrees, 63.7 now. All right, now I'm, go now I'm just going to stop it there. Hold for three seconds. There it's off. Disconnect the battery.
just measure the power of the battery. When I started, it was uh, 12 volt exactly. It's no, not fully charged this, this battery. So I'm just trying to connect her like this. Let's see. 11.7. So it's drained uh, 0 0.3 volt from this battery. So that's all right. You should not uh, use the heater when it's not connected to the cooling top, it says in the user manual, because then it can overheat. Sixty-one point seven. So let's uh, take it off. Now you can look inside the, the heater, and you see the heater element is just this this part here. So that's why it's more cold on the back. But it it got the sensor. You can see it there. That's lit, little plug there. So that's important to keep in the heater when you're using it. And let's touch the yes. Oh yes. And on the back, it, it's got a good warm on the back air. On the front, where the heating element was. It's like, yeah, you can touch it, but not for more than a second. Now it's dropped to 42, but, but that also because of the air in this room, it's much colder. So, 40. But longer down here, you don't got, get the heat so much on, uh, on the bottom here of the engine, 27. Yeah, 39, 38. So I believe it does its job and it's a good uh, tool, it's not expensive. So if you have a Trias sleeper battery and uh, driving nitro cars, uh, I believe this is a good uh, investment. And they say uh, you should, uh, what they say here, it says, you will experience that engine preheating is a must. Most importantly, it will quickly pay for itself by increasing engine life and performance. Well, hope that's right. So if it's uh, increased uh, the engine life, also for the glow plug, then it will really pay for itself. So that's for all for this time. And I'm still hoping for better and warmer weather so I can break in this engine. Sorry this takes a lot of time, but uh, I just show you my complete experience with this first time ever Nitro car. Uh, I hope I get the engine to start <laughs> uh, easy. I will be very disappointed if it's got a lot of trouble starting the engine. I have not opened the engine or the clutch or anything, so I just hope Hubo has set up everything good here. Alright, thanks for this time.